Number one is Cannon Can, representing the Henry Cecil stable, Kieran Fallon. Two is Sir Eric, last year's winner, Pat Edry. Three, Clark and Well, saddled by Sir Michael Stout and ridden by Walter Swinburne. Number four is Double Trigger, a previous Gold Cup winner as well, Daryl Holland. Number five is Gordy from Ireland, Michael Canan. Six, I'm Supposing, Ray Cochran. Seven, Mongol Warrior, David Harrison. Number eight, Persian Punch, John Reed. Nine is Sam Run and non runner. Ten, Silence in Court, Alan Mackay. Eleven, Stretteres, Kevin Daly. Twelve, Kaif Tara, one of two Godolphin runners, Frankie Dettori. Thirteen is May Lane, who wears the white distinguishing cap, the other Godolphin runner, Dara O'Donoghue. Fourteen, three cheers, Michael Hills. Fifteen is Windsor Castle, Richard Quinn. 16, French ballerina, another representative from Ireland, Seamus Heffernan. And 17, book at bedtime, Olivier Pallier. The one non-runner is number nine, Sam Rahn. So we have 16 runners in the Gold Cup. And betting as follows. Persian Punch, as expected, is the favourite. Open 4-1, to one, touch 92 briefly, and now back to 4-1 to one again. Cannon Cad open six, easing a fraction out to 30 to two. Stretcher is three cheers, Windsor Castle, all opened at seven to one, now eight to one. Cave Tara is tens from eights. Sir Lyric is twelves, along with Clerkenwell. Then French Ballerina is 14 to one from 12 to one. Book at bedtime, easing, 20 from 16. And then they go 25 to one, double trigger and Gordy, together with Mongol Warrior. And then 33 to one, silencing court, I'm supposing, and May Lane. They're under orders, and they're away. And Mongol Warrior on the near side, one of the first away. Up there, too, is Clark and well in the early stages, and double trigger. The white face showing out there in the centre is going to be the early leader. From Persian Punch, who's up there as well, and Clark and well starting to track over. Cannon Can is not that far away. And there's a couple there that have uh, tailed off. French Ballerina has uh, refused to... Something's gone amiss with French Ballerina, has been dismounted. And May Lane is at the rear of the field, but French Ballerina... Arena, uh, something has come, uh, has gone amiss there, and uh, she's out of the race as they head up the straight towards the three the first time. They've got just on two miles and a furlong to go, and double trigger out in front. There's Pat Henry back in centre field. That's the jockey's view from Pat Henry's saddle. He's lying in second last position. He's got Stretteres just ahead of him. The leader, though, is Clark and Well, who takes it up here from Double Trigger. Then on the outside, Mongo Warrior, half a length away in third. The yellow jacket there of Book at Bedtime, followed next in the field by Cannon Can. And then on the inside, the green jacket of Windsor Castle. Further back, then, is Persian Punch in centre field as the roars of the crowd greet them as they go past the judge. And uh, further back in the field, behind Cannon Can at this stage, is uh, three cheers with Gordy on the inside. Then a gap to I'm supposed, and followed by Stretteres. Back towards the rear is Cave Tara, and uh, Soleric out the back. Pat Edry has uh, got only one behind him on Soleric at this stage. You could see that uh, he was uh, having a good view of them as they went around that corner, last of all with the white cap as May Lane. And as they head down the back, that's Stretteres on the right with a yellow cap on the left as Silence in Court. Heading down the back towards the mile and a half gate, and the leader here is Clark and Weld by a length to book at bedtime up on the outside of Double Trigger and Montgol Warrior making a line of three there vying for that second spot they were followed then by Cannon Can up on the outside there of Windsor Castle and further back in the field then at this stage uh, follows Persian Punch as they head down the side over towards the far side rail Gordy is just behind them with three cheers and I'm supposing back in the field is Stretteres they were followed then by Cave Tara out the back is Soleric third last from May Lane and uh, last of all is Silence in Court heading down the side now towards the nine furlong marker and the leader is Clark at well and there's Pat Henry he's uh, having to wipe he'd have to wipe his goggles if he had uh, that view anyway as they head down the side leader here is Clark and well by half a length or so to double trigger who's going to cut the corner I think at Swindley bottom as they pass the mile two lengths in advance then a book at bedtime running a good race from in fourth position Mongol warrior Cannon can is going well in fifth place followed then by Windsor Castle then three cheers followed further back in the field then out wider as Cave Tara uh, Clark and well just stumbled coming out of Swindley bottom 
lost the lead there and double trigger takes it up and Celeric is back in the ruck there he's hard up against that far rail as they head under the trees in the gold cup the leader is double trigger past the six by length the Clark and well and Cannon can give him chase now look at bedtime behind them from three cheers in Windsor Castle Stradarez is further back from I'm supposing Gordy's being scrubbed up on the left with a yellow jacket Cave Tara next followed by back in the field at this stage May Lane then Persian punch hard ridden and doing nothing Celeric's out under the trees from silence and court Gordy's dropped back to second last and last of all almost tailed off uh, as they pass the half mile as Mongol Warrior racing up towards the home turn and it's double trigger the leader double trigger out in front the 95 gold cup winner bidding for a second win in the race a length and a half to Cannon Cat Celeric's well back in the ruck there but he's starting to make a bit of ground on the outside as they swing the corner in the gold cup now and it's double trigger over on the far side the leader from Cannon Can finishing fast as Cave Tara up the center from three cheers behind them is Celeric giving chase as well inside the two it's double trigger though sticking to his guns on the far side Cave Tara though claiming him now at the furlong Cave Tara for Godolphin ranges up now to throw out the challenge to double trigger on the far side three cheers coming there on the near side as well three parts of a furlong to go in the gold cup Cave Tara strikes the lead double triggers fighting back he's coming back at him hard they race towards the line but Cave Tara's gonna win the gold trigger third then was three cheers fourth silence in court behind them followed may lane from cannon can then persian punch celeric back in the ruck all cup then at 11 to 1 surprising even the mighty godolphin camp double trigger a gallant second at 25 to 1 and three cheers filling the third spot at 10 to